Hello and welcome to another episode of U Boat. I am Cap Top Gamer and I'm your skipper today. And this is my boat. Um, so we've done a couple of patrols now. This is um, something that we're going to tr try and mix up a little bit today. So we're going to try something a bit different. Maybe go for um, a sabotage mission or something like that. Or just see what there is about really. Recon, I'm not sure. We'll have a look and see what we're offered. So while I get the boat loaded and get the crew on board... We'll see you in a minute and then we'll disembark. Okay, so welcome back. We've now got the ship loaded and the crew have now got on board and we're now ready to go on away and set sail. We're going to have a quick look in here. I'm not sure why we've got the red light on, but during the day. And we've got, we've taken on our sabotage mission at Cardiff Docks. So what we've got to do is sneak in. We've got a new crew member on board, Peter, and we are going to have to yeah, essentially. Yeah, boy. Essentially, get him, get, him to, get him dropped off so we can get there. Peter, Becca, greet Alfred in a very official fashion and explains he has received orders to join crew of U 96 during this assignment. Alfred confirms that they were waiting for him and proceeds to tour around the ship. Welcome aboard. Okay. Want to get that turned to a white light, please? And then you can carry on. Skipper should be on top. There is Klaus just having a little look around. So let's get ourselves set and on our way. I'm going to try and do follow Bruce a lot relative ease. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. That's roughly the route we're going to take. It might change as we go along, depending on what trolls there are about. Looking at it, looks like we've got a couple of other U-boats in there. In port, there's one over there. We sind schon so lange auf See. Ich halte nicht mehr aus. Another one's there. Is that all we've got today? I thought I saw one. There's the front end of one just there. There you go. So we've got three U boats already in port. So, everybody, let's get ready to move out and um, get off the moorings and let's get ourselves moving. Okay, so the engines are now starting if I go in the water. See the engines now spinning up. So here we go. Now on our way, let's move up to forward two. Okay, so we're now just on the British shoreline, not far from Cardiff. So what we're doing is we're just making sure everything's prepped because it's night time so we can sneak in a little bit closer on the surface without being detected but we, but we want to be prepared for anything so I've got the crew now prepping the ship for silent running and also for torpedoes to make sure they're all ready and everything like that so that once we need to we can go underwater at the engine to get onto the electric motors and then sneak towards our drop off point if we go onto the map see there's Great Britain 
and we are literally just sneaking in. So far, we haven't come across anything as of yet. So we've been relatively lucky. But we're going to try and get as close to there without being seen. Okay, we're going to slow the engines down to forward two. And he has now disembarked off the ship on his little boat to head towards shore. So you can go towards Cardiff now. So we've managed to get him sent. Oh, and we've got a transmission. So what we're going to do, because we don't want to be hanging around here any more than we need to. We come out the same way we came in. Transmission's in, let's see what it is. Infiltrate card that docks. That's four people that are near the card of dark support to spin it up here with 40 bad days at specific point. Our spy Peter Becker communicated to us that there is that his target in Cardiff Docks is heavily guarded. His mission is top priority for us and has to be aided at all costs. Your order is to prepare any kind of diversion near the port to draw the defence's port's attention. Right, okay, so they need us to go into the port itself of course, that's... to create a distraction. I don't like the sounds of this, but okay, if that's what they want. Okay, so we're now heading towards Cardiff Docks itself, just out of sight in the distance over there somewhere. We're just making a turn now. Um, we have picked up some chimney smoke just to the side. So what I'm trying to do is avoid that so they don't see us. But we are going to have to shortly think about going to periscope depth and sneaking in the rest of the way. We've just got to be a bit careful because there's sometimes nets that are around the actual dock itself. Or some of the docks, especially if there's high profile targets there. And we obviously don't want to get caught out by that, so we're going to try and see if we can sneak in without being seen. It is starting to get daylight now, so we've got to be a little bit careful because it's going to start. The sun's going to start rising soon. Okay, so you can see the coast of of, um, of Cardiff there in Wales, and just in the distance over there, you can see the lighthouse. So we're getting pretty close. This is the time we're going to start going under water, and then um, because we don't want that lighthouse to pick us up. And we've got to create a distraction. So if we're going to go down there, I'm going to try and get as close as possible. Fire a few torpedoes at a few of the ships there. And hopefully that'll be enough to cause them to kind of scurry around trying to see if they can find us. So let's get ourselves down to periscope depth. Okay, so we've got Bargainu doing the um, bow planks, the um, bows. Okay. So he's now releasing the buoyancy of the ship to make it so it's got a chance of going down. Bows has come down from the deck, so the deck's now been cleared off, I believe. Yep. So we should start to make our diving manoeuvre shortly. Here we go, we're starting to go under now. And like that, now we are incognito. 
They have no reason to suspect us yet. Okay, so it seems like we've made enough of an impact that somebody's seen us. Because the alarms are going off. As you can see, there are bullets being fired, so we've tripped something. I don't know if we've hit a net or something at some stage. Cause they, and we've, or we've clipped something or not. Oh, oh, okay. So I've just quickly paused it here because we've just been hit by a shell from above water. I'm, I've now just told them to turn around. We're not going to get close enough to sink these destroyers in there, Dev, obviously. But we've created enough distraction that they're now going to see us. But it looks like there's freighters coming in from behind. So I'm going to try and sneak back out and see if we can get them. But we have, as you can see here, been hit in the side by one of the shells that's hit the water. And what's happened is it's blown the power distribution board. And we have got a hole which is causing water to come in. So what I'm going to do... Hello. Get both the pipe and... And that's sorted so we don't take on too much water because as you can see the water is coming on. Captain, Need you to turn on. Have we... Okay, so we've also hit the bottom now. For whatever reason. We've taken enough water. That has caused the ship to go down slightly. So yeah, so we've created a distraction, but unfortunately it might have been at a cost. Doing that, so I want to get that hatch closed. Because there's no leaks at the front. I don't want to risk water coming into the front of the ship as well. Erledigt. Schaden repariert. Erledigt. Schaden repariert. Repair it. Okay, so we repaired the leaks. The pump is on. We can get this power Erledigt. distribution Schaden board repariert. fixed. Ah, uh, the valves are broken. That's why we've hit bottom. Luckily the hydrophones still aren't picking anything up. I've come to a stop. In the power distribution board. If we get a power distribution board, that should hopefully get all the lights because that power distribution board's gone. It's taken off all the power to the rear end Erledigt. of the ship. Erledigt. There we go. So they're now all done. If we can get these valves fixed. We can then get ourselves off the bottom of the water. Erledigt. Schaden repariert. See the water. We've now managed to get. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. We've now managed to get the water off the ship. Good, so the valves are now repaired. So what I want is all ahead forward one, and I want you to get us up back up to periscope depth. Come on. There we go, we're lifting up slightly. And we're off the ground. There we go. They've given us a good whack. It must have hit through the water and just hit in the right spot. So it's enough to cause us a bit of bother, but luckily we've repaired it. We've got the um, water off the ship as well now. So yeah, now we've got that under control. I'm going to try and get us back up to periscope depth and then see if we can start aiming at a couple of the targets there just to try and distract them enough for us to get our, our escape. And then we've got a freighters which are coming in from the bottom, so we'll try and take them out while we're at it. And hopefully, they'll give us enough to get 
get out before we get hit. Now they can't see us at the moment to aim at us, but they are looking out for our periscope, which is not high enough for them to see it. So it is going to be a bit of a quick. We're also picking up what sounds like faster cat craft going that way. If they're going that way and we can sneak around and come around, we might be able to take out this freighter and get away before these freight they come in. Well, that's the plan anyway. So we've now got this um, ship in sight. We're going to try and see if we can sink it. Is it an Empire Bell? Uh, it's got some big fun. Looks like it's an Empire Explorer. Hey. So that's what we're going to recognise it as. Uh, speed, let's see what its speed is. So we're just determining how fast it's going now, so we can then get a firing solution on it. Loads, load tubes, two and one, please. Gonna give this a go and see. Fire. Let's see how we do. Now my tor torpedo phone has always been a bit suspect, so be interesting to see how this manage it. Twenty seconds. Well, I think we're gonna miss it. Just too far ahead of it, I think. Ten Sekunden bis Einschlag. That's a pain. Okay, so back to the drawing board. I need you to be a bit less. Der A ging daneben, Herr Kaloy. Der A ging daneben, Herr Kaloy. Tubes three and four. Los! Vierzig Sekunden bis Torpedo Einschlag. Yeah, this one goes. Dreißig Sekunden. That one's even, oh, it's turned, hasn't it? No bastard. Please tell me he's been loading the bloody torpedo tubes. Kapitän. Herr Kaloy. Has no one loaded the torpedo tubes? Jawohl. Having a bloody laugh. Bewegung, los, schneller. Torbefehl. Right, I'm going to get us to come to a stop so we don't move. Hopefully, it means that we will be able to. As he comes into the dock, we can get him while he's sitting still. Before they get a chance to unload anything. Okay, so he's finally starting to load this torpedo up now, so we can try another attempt at shooting at it. What's war geladen? Uh, I'd like to get you guys to... No, don't go back to rest. You've still got more torpedoes to load, you little sod. Bewegung. Los, schneller. So, yeah. So, the first couple, few torpedoes didn't really hit. Um, fortunately, I think because he'd seen us, it made him do evasive action. So, we ended up missing him. So, I'm hoping now we've given him a bit of time. going to let him start moving. 
Hopefully he's not moving too quickly and he's constantly moving. He's about to run aground, so I'm hoping if that's the case, it's gonna make him come to a sudden stop and when he does that. I'll have him then. Then they're panicking and then probably have got time now to set themselves down straight. Now the question is, have we got enough of an angle as well to get the unvaluvi so whether we know it's You're about to run aground, mate. Yeah, look at that. He's dragging it across the ground now. That's good for us. That's our opportunity. What's going on there? Move one. Now he's glitching out a little bit, so he might suddenly shoot back again like he did a minute ago. So what I'm going to do is now we've sent that one on its way. Going to send him to have a look. just see that one so we know his speed is zero what is it that's the question got one tall mask yeah we're gonna go with a flower cast give that a go it's not moving so it's not going to be too Difficult providing we can get the uh, thing to go past. I don't think my torpedo hit it. I think it just hit the ground. So because of the way it's moving, it's kind of going that way, but sliding across. So it's making it very difficult. Oh, we've got a bloody boat coming at us now. So we've got to be a bit careful now. So Oh, that's Thirty-nine. Load those tubes, and then once we do that, we're going to make our way get away from it. Hopefully, I'm going to want to reverse slightly. And get it just to clear that line. That's hopefully it. So fire. Okay, if we don't hit it, we don't hit it. I've got to go now because I can't wait any longer. Okay, so the torpedoes managed to just about miss the tower. So now it's just a case of is it going to hit? Now it's heading roughly in the same place. I've just got to hope they're not duds because if they're a dud, then we're buggered. Because we now have got to move on because we could be being tracked down by a fast roll boat which has a torpedo launcher on it. It looks like this is on target to hit, which is good. Torpedo's coming in. Nice hit. Here comes the other one coming in here. And that one was a dud, but it's all right. We've sunk it. So although that was a dud, we managed to sink it. Yeah, the, the second one was a dud, so we were lucky there. We just managed to get enough to actually sink it. Now, they don't know 100% where we are. We're at silent running. 
so no one's making any noise so the idea is that flower class has now been sunk i'm not going to be able to get these ones and that one's still glitching out so we've wasted torpedoes on him because of the way he's facing the ground and he's basically sliding sideways while heading towards the ground it's making it so the computer when when locking onto it it's trying it picks out what direction it's facing and fires accordingly and it can't do that because of the fact it's um, not actually moving the direction that it's going at the speed it's going at. And it's kind of moving horizontally in it, so it just can't work that out. And obviously, it wouldn't really do that, so it's a slight glitch. So, unfortunately, we've had to call that one a miss. But we man at least we managed to get one of their escort vessels, destroyers, down. We've definitely got their attention now because we're picking up. Uh, Corvette just off in the distance, so they've obviously got their attention and look at the amount of patrol boats now swimming around Now trying to see if they can find us Now we're still on silent running. We're slowly we're out of range really of the docks now to be able to see it properly what's going on Okay, so we've come across another freighter So all I've done is I've drawn it in a bit so we can get a better firing solution on it And what I'm going to do is see if I can get a torpedo launched at it before it gets into port um, we're far enough away from any of the surrounding ships that they can't see us and we should be able to do it before they have time to react. So what I'm going to do is get a firing solution and see if we can get a torpedo away and then we should hopefully can get this bad boy down as well. Okay, so it's about six knots, that's fine. Do a quick... Distance check, we say there... There by the time we fire. Thirty eight. Gotta say thirty eight. Thirty six will go. Oh, we've got no torpedoes. Who the fuck sake is he not? Doing his job. Herr Kaloy. Ay, ay, Herr Kaloy. Get these torpedoes loaded, will you? Yeah, Bewegung. Little... Los. Ay, ay, Herr Kaloy. Bestätigt. You, sir, are a waste of pissing space. All I ask him to do is load a bloody torpedoes, and all he's doing is letting me down. So, what's your name? Agnor, you're going. You will no longer be on this boat, boy. Now, we're not going to have enough torpedoes to sink this thing. Now, it's going to take two to sink it. And I'm not going to turn around to keep it in sight. Which means we're now going to have to fire with the rear torpedo. So, basically, you, Hagen, or whatever the fuck your name is, have screwed us over a treat there, because now this person's possibly got away because of your incompetence. I don't care who you are, you, sir, will be going. You will be demoted as soon as we get back. So yeah, so he's got away basically because our torpedo operator is an absolute eejit. Or one of them is, and completely screwed us over. So we're now basically going to... Get rid of him on the next tour. He's now done. Get somebody else in. Rohr 1 geladen. See, Rohr look, he's loading all the torpedoes because he's already loaded nearly all of them already. There's that guy. He couldn't even load a couple. Right now, Captain. let's get my main engineer back tender into the electric engines. We're going to get ourselves away as quickly as possible. Now we're going to stay in silent running and underwater until I know that we're safe enough that we're not going to get caught out. We've got 11 hours 
no brood of oxygen in a day of that, so we're going to keep her going for as long as possible. Very disappointed you, you can let me down. If we're lucky, we might see something else along the route. But... Arganu, you have really, really let me down. And unfortunately, you only get one chance with me, so as soon as we get back to the, um, duck, you're, you're off this boat. I found another convoy of ships, so what I'm doing is I'm getting close to them, I'm just scouting them out. Oh, we've got a new ship here, someone I haven't come across. What are you? But yeah, so we come across a new convoy, and I've decided to intercept them to try and see if we can take them out while we're off, while we're leaving since we're passing them we might as well try and take advantage of the situation and see if we can get them at the same time oh, yeah. okay so it looks like That's it might be one of way. those let's just quickly go through and keep checking to make sure there's not anything else that looks similar I'm pretty sure that's it though yep so let's get back to it and then we'll designate you as that target Okay, well, right, there yep, you are. So that is definitely right, just got a lock That's on. Your, there we go. We're going to go for one of you. What we're going to do now is set up a firing solution. Luckily, because I've been okay, so um, submerged the whole quick. time, they have no idea I'm in the area. So I'm just getting the distance to target by aligning the waterline to the top of the masts on the ghost image. And there we go. So now we've just got to get the speed. So basically all I've got to do here is click start when the bow hits the centre of the, of the line, wait for the ship to travel through, and then I stop it, and then it will basically let me know an, an idea of the speed it's going. Now it is just an estimate, but it's the easiest way to determine roughly where it's going based on its heading and everything like that, and how fast it's going. So there we go, it's now just passed. So we're going to put that in there, so as you can see in the bottom left, it's now all set up. All we've got to do is work out its angle of bow to us. And it's a bit more math mathematical, so draw a line through the ship there and then bring it to the nose of our ship, although I will generally go a bit further ahead, just because obviously we're moving and they're moving, so we want to know what it is at point of fire. And um, that will then give us an idea of the angle and trajectory the torpedo needs to go at to meet the target at that range. So now that we've set that up, I am going to just quickly set up the angle of bow. Now the reason we put it on the green side is because we're on the starboard side of the ship, which is the target, so it's the ship of the target. And there we go, we're loading up the torpedo tubes please. Thank you very much. And let's get this ready to fire. Okay, so just double checking my Double checking my firing solution. Gotta make sure we get that right. Okay, there we go. Just to make a slight adjustment. Okay. A bit more. There we go. There we go. Okay, now fire. Get these done as quickly as possible and get it to target. Okay, now they're on their way. I'm gonna lock onto this target and then see we set the firing solution ready on this one. Because then what we can do is we can fire at this one as well and try and get two birds, one stone one before he has a chance to react to the other one being hit. So we've just classified the ship and we're just getting a range to target now. Once we've done that, I'll set up the speed. Although this one's going to be a bit harder to judge because we've got the other ship overtaken in the foreground. It means we've got to kind of guess where the background oh, ship is in regards to the end of the keel to stop the timer. But we can get a rough idea depending on where the masks are. So just doing that. Torpedo's on its way. Okay. Okay then, so that's roughly where I reckon the end of the bow is. Right, let's just have a quick look and see. Are we going to hit it at all? No, it looks like those torpedoes are going to miss. Damn it. Okay, what I'm going to do then is forget doing that one for the time being, let's go back to this one let's change this angle of keel a bit, or sorry, angle of bow and work out a new firing solution, luckily it will remember the previous details so all I've got to do is just update this one and let's get this back in the right position 
And then we can try it again and see if we can get it. The only thing that will mainly be different is the range and obviously the angle of bow now. But I'm not going to bother adjusting the range. I'm just going to quickly readjust the angle of bow, fire it, and then just hope for the best. So there we go. Let's get these torpedoes on the way. So can we get a torpedoes tubes loaded, please? <coughs> Okay, it's... Okay, torpedo tubes are loaded and flooded. Let's fire. Okay, so the torpedo's now on the way. We've got one already gone and I've sent another one as well. So let's see what happens and if this one becomes a hit. You, sir. Captain? Jawohl. And no torpedoes to launch at that one, so... I'm pretty sure we've got a ship nearly right behind us, we have. Let's quickly have a little look at this one and see what happens. Torpedo coming in, is it going to hit? Yes! Now where's the other torpedo? There's the other torpedo coming in here. He should hit as well now. Yes he has. Oh, we've taken the whole rear end of that ship out. He's going down, he ain't got a chance. Treffer. Schwere Schäden am Rumpf. Good, that's what I like Treffer. to see. So he's down. There's no way I'm surfacing here to try and finish off the others like I did in the last one because there's so many ships about. We'd, we've already been injured once and had to patch it up. I don't fancy trying see if we can do it again. Now you, the same ship. Let's see your speed. At least we managed to sink one of them, which is good. Let's, let's have a little go at this one and see if we can get this little bad boy. I would do if they bother reloading any of the bloody tubes. Damn it. Okay, before we do that, I'm gonna need to get this useless. I need to load that tube. Take as many people as you want as long as you get it reloaded. Okay, so we've managed to sink one of them. And we could have got another one, but our crew seems to be really lapsing with the old let's reload the torpedoes to defend ourselves department. And he's moving too far away now to the point where it's not going to be worth doing. So what I'm going to do is get ourselves out of here. We've done enough damage now, really. We've done enough to distract as well. We've only got one torpedo left anyway, so it's probably best we keep that rear torpedo just in case we need it for defence. It's a shame to see these with go, but hey, we didn't have that glitched out transport at the start, we might have got a few more, but never mind. Let's get ourselves heading back home. Okay, so it looks like we found another U-boat in uh, through our hydrophones and stuff like that coming through. Again, he's kind of moving. I think he's under attack as well. By the looks of it, very majorly so. So I'm going to say he's in trouble. How far away are they? Can we see them through his view? So he's running low, but looks of it he has been injured because he is listing quite a bit to the side. More than he should be. So he's either running out of compressed air or something's not right. He should be upright like ours is there. But still, they seem to be going the other way to him. So hopefully he's not engaging them and he's getting himself away. We're going to leave him to it. 
there's nothing we can do to help him. We just gotta hope he doesn't cause himself more issues. Okay, so now that we've gone to the surface, just so we can replenish the air supplies and also do any external repairs, get the electric batteries starting to be recharged. We were far enough away that I felt we could come up without any major danger. If you have a look, there we are. There, the U boat's carried on on its way. Doesn't seem to have attracted any more attention from what we could see while it was in range and we're far enough away from any contacts at the moment that I felt we could easily come in to the surface and then get everything recharged so while we're doing that we've got we've managed to get the oxygen levels now back to 100 the batteries are currently if we could get the UI up are currently now back at 100 as well Discipline's going up again. They're now starting to get a bit of fresh air, as you can see on the top. If we take a quick look around the side. See the damage it's caused that shell where it's hit us. We've got a little bit of damage just on the side there. Below the conning tower. So we're lucky that he didn't take out the whole conning tower because that could have made it a bit more disastrous. But it's um, relatively calm weather, weather. We seem to be out of the main cause of danger at the moment. So we're going to head back to port, restock, get the U boat repaired, review our mission and orders, and get a debriefing. We've just had an alarm go off because there's an aircraft that's been spotted. So what we're going to do, you can go back on to here now. We could. I'm going to try and see if we can shoot the aircraft down because I'd rather not have to go through the whole going back underwater just for one aircraft. Now I'm not sure what type of aircraft it is. Oh, he's a spotter aircraft, so he's going to have seen us. Doesn't look like he's got any torpedoes on him. But he could shoot at us. He is circling round us, so he has ideas obviously. Why are you on the radio? I don't yeah, want I you on the radio, I want you on the bloody gun. Yeah, I want you on the radio. Yeah, so we need to get him on board to help defend against it in case he does decide to take a strafing run. He is starting to finally... Are they hitting us? Got to be dead. Turning around for strafing run. Come on, come on, come on. Reload, reload, reload. Dropping some depth charges. Hope we've managed to get some injury on him. Uh, looks like we've got him. He's going down. Yep, he's down. So they did fire a few depth charges, they did go off, luckily he was too far off us to physically do any major damage and we managed to get him before we managed to go around for another straight in the run. Now he did manage to ditch it, so he has managed to get it to land but his engines are on fire so he isn't going anywhere. We, I would have expected him to be able to at least do something on those two engines but it looks like he's decided just to ditch the thing. Don't know, maybe we shot the pilots. With the windscreen, I don't know what sort of damage we've done, but he has managed to do a relatively control landing to the point where he's now just floating above the water. So, you never know, they should be able to escape or get, away, get out. We don't know, so, but regardless, we've got them off our tail. They dropped a few depth charges, luckily, didn't do any damage, so we managed to get out of that. 
But now, he's let his mates know. And they're now throwing a few depth charges our way as well. So it looks quicker it gets to night time the better because at least then they'll be off our tail. He's now coming around by looks of it to try and do another run. He's going to try and come up in front of us. And because obviously going along the bow when he's dropping stuff like that will make it a lot easier for him. Here he comes. We've got him, he's going down as well. He only managed to get one dev charger off there before we got him down. Is he the same type of aircraft or was he a different one? No, this one, oh no, he was literally a full on bomber. He did now the depth charges. He had bombs that he was dropping and we managed to take him out fully, so he's going down. He was in a position where he could um, float like this one could. Is he still floating? Yeah. So we were quite lucky there. We've managed to take those two down with minimal to no um, minimal to no damage or impact. So yeah, let's get back on our way. If we start getting more, we'll have to start thinking about ducking under so they can't get to us. Okay, so as you can see, we're coming into the port. I've made that t corner a little bit on the tight side, but somehow managed to get it to pay off. And we are now rudder amidships just running alongside. So we're now pulling into the port. We we're quite lucky there. Look how close we managed to cut that corner. Just got it right. For a second, I thought I was going to hit it, but I appear to have not done so. So we're back at La Rochelle, we're just pulling up to the actual dock itself, so in a minute you'll see it suddenly snap in, and then we can get our debriefing, see how we got on, and yeah, again, that'll be the end of this particular mission. We ran into a couple of mines en route, but um, went through without a hit, so it wasn't really anything of interest to, to show. Um, I, I did wonder if we were going to actually hit any of them across the channel, but luckily we didn't. We must have caught just the end end of them. And there we go, we are now back in port. We're going to get this boat repaired. And we're going to quickly do the debriefing. Impressed with your last patrol. Solid work, Captain. Thank you. So the U-boat war badge we've got. I thought Hagenord has. Even though he's been rubbish, he was good at... The, the only thing he was good at was taking those, down those planes. Um, U-boat war badge is awarded. So we've got a few of our guys with... Decoration. And I'll get the German cross in gold. So overall, we've got a flower class Corvette, Empire Lewis. We got, um, we didn't sink, but it did get sunk, sunk the um, U-boat, unfortunately. And we got two planes down. We managed to maintain his cover. So basically, we managed to do all of the stuff required. All in all, it was um, a job well done. But yeah, I'm going to get this boat restocked up, ready for the next episode. I've been Count Top Gamer, this has been U-Boat, and um, we've just got back from, from Cardiff doing a sabotage mission. So if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like and subscribe button. If you get the bell on it, it will notify you of any future content I have going on. And um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed it today. You can now disembark, and I'll um, catch you on the next mission.